Hello and welcome to the Tropics Today. It is January 6, 2017, 22 Universal Time. There are currently no tro active tropical cyclones, as 6F dissipated or earlier today, the Universal Time. There are several disturbances to talk about, though. There is now 96W in the West Pacific. There continues to be 90B in the North Indian. 97P in the South Pacific and Australian region, 96P in the Australian region, and 95S in the Australian region. So the two most significant disturbances I want to start talking about are 95S and 96P. So 95S is near Christmas Island in the Australian region, in the Western region, and 96P just off the east coast of Queensland, Australia near Townsville, as well as 90B in the North Indian Ocean, which we've been looking at the past few days for potential development into a cyclonic storm. So let's take a look at the models. Here is the GFS run from 12Z, 12 Universal Time. We can see 90B and 95S, as well as 96W in the West Pacific, just to the edge of the plotted region. We can see that 90B in the North Indian is not predicted to be quite as strong as the models were saying it was going to be a few days ago. They've backed off quite significantly on its intensity. And I don't think this system is likely to become a cyclonic storm, although the possibility is still there. The models have been pushing it back for quite some time now. And it's pretty borderline on the models as to whether it will be a cyclonic storm. Models also continue to push it east as you can see the center of the storm here in 24 hours is just off the Malay Peninsula and that will definitely hinder development in the short term its proximity to land. Although the models have been pretty consistent at pushing it to the northwest after it approaches the Malay Peninsula which may help it to develop out two or three days from now but the models keep it pretty weak. You can see here the past few model runs from the Euro have been weakening the storm or rather keeping the storm much weaker and you can also see on GFS that this same trend has been going on. The GFS is also moving the storm a lot slower. As you can see here on January 4th, the GFS expected that it would be to the west of Myanmar and the Irrawaddy Delta, but now you can see that the system's been pulled much further to the south and it is much weaker since it's going to be just east of the Andamans in the same time frame. The second system I'd like to talk about is 95S. We can see that the current GFS run keeps the system relatively stationary, although it drifts a little bit to the west before completely slowing down at about four to five days out, at which point the storm becomes significantly weaker and pretty much dissipates. Although currently, the, out of all the disturbances that are active right now, this is probably the most prominent one. If we look at this microwave pass from 12 universal time, you can see the low level circulation is visible in these blues here, these dark blues. And there's swirling pattern and that the convection is off to the west. So this system is probably a tropical depression right now. If we look at the scatterometer passes from ASCAT, we can see here quite a significant circulation and definitely on the METOP B from 1513 universal time, a defined circulation center, and even 30 knot winds. We also have 96P just off the coast of Queensland right here, and GFS takes it just along the coastline, slows it down, turns it back to the west, and dissipates it before it's remnant low contacts the coastline. Although we can see at just about 24 hours from now, gale force winds 
and even stronger winds just off the coastline associated with this system. So here's a microwave pass from 17 universal time of 96p. We can see the the center of circulation just off the coastline only 30 or 40 miles away. We can also see a lot of displaced convection to the east. A lot of shear that this system will have to battle if it wants a chance at becoming a tropical cyclone which does not appear likely at the moment. If we bring up the tropical cyclone outlooks from the Bureau of Meteorology we can see that over the next three days there's only a low chance that this system will become a tropical cyclone. In addition the Bureau of Meteorology does not expect that 95S will receive a name either and become a tropical cyclone. If we go back to 96P here we can see that the threat of rain from this system is very minimal on the coastline. The convection will stay sheared to the east and southeast of the center of the system as it hangs just off the coastline. So the main threat from this system will be the gale force winds along the coastline and just out to sea. And here are the current observations from the regions around 96P. And we can see some disorganized showers and thunderstorms, which are mostly located out to sea and just offshore. That's about it for the tropics today. Tomorrow we'll have further updates on tropical activity. See ya!